Hello, this time we're going to be looking at creating a normal map from our scattered shape uh, material that we made in our last video. So a quick recap of that. All we really did was we took this shape onto a plane and on that plane we're using geometry nodes to scatter um, all these points and we're offsetting the Z value a lot. Um, so that we're not getting any clipping when we're looking down like this. You can watch that video for more information on that. But we're just instancing that same plane around um, so that the tiling is, uh, you know, seamless. And we're taking our camera, which is set up directly above the middle plane, putting this to a ratio of 1 to 1. So we'll do 1024 by 1024. We are changing the uh, mat cap over here to this normal one. Turn off cavity, turn off outline, turn off um, this overlays, uh, hit numpad zero, go up to view, view, render image, and there you go. So you hit image, save as, and that is what you get over here. Now here I have tiling going on, so I just scale this up. You can see that it tiles really well. So. I can just go to UV and hit reset. That's what we left off with. Over here, I'm using this information and using it as a normal map. So we have this top one and this bottom one, and we can see that they are slightly different. Um, I'm going to turn the metallic value way up so we can just see it a little clearly, clearer. So this top one, we're using the same method that I just showed. This bottom one, we're using a different method where we are actually using um, a material. We're creating a material to use this normal information and we're taking a screenshot of that instead. With the viewport render display, there's slight artifact in, so it's not as accurate. Um, however, it's pretty good. You can tell there's not much difference here, but long story short, this one is more accurate. This one is slightly bunched up to the top right, just slightly. This one is, you can see, you know, straight in the middle. And what we're seeing here is just the, um, you know, it's, it's just the HDRI. Um, you could even just turn the strength down. We could see it a little clear, clearer that way, 0.5 and 0.5. So they both do a pretty good job, but this bottom one is more accurate. So let's go and see how we make this bottom one. The method I recommend. So I've already done this here, but I'm just gonna delete this. We're gonna start from scratch. So I'm selecting this circle here because this is what Geometry Nodes is instancing. So selecting that, I'm gonna create a new material and I'm just gonna call this normal material, something like that. Um, we're going to delete this principal BSDF and everything will turn black. I'm going to add a geometry node, material node, not geometry nodes. And I'm going to plug this normal into the surface of the material output. So this is what is happening. Um, we're going to modify this a little bit. So adding a vector math node. I'm going to add a value of click and drag down one and shift D click in there. We're going to change this one to scale. Oops. And we're going to scale this back to 0.5. So half the amount. And that's all there is to making that material. So what's next? If we were to save this out right now, it would generate problems. We can see that we're not, we're not getting a full range of color information here. It should be like, well, is it black here or just blue? But we should be getting a color, like a solid green color over here and uh, more red over here, but we're having this white influence. And that is because of the color management. If we change this from filmic, which is applying like a color curve to the red, green and blue channels to make things look more appealing, I guess. Um, we change this to raw and huge difference. We can see, you know, straight values, green to 
basically no green and full red to no red. And this will give us more accurate color information. So again, that's this is just in render properties. Um, before we take the picture though, the last thing we need to make sure we check is we just want to make sure every post processing uh, effect is turned off. We want everything off on this. So just leaving this in as viewport shading. Now the lighting doesn't matter because of our material. We're not getting any, you know, we're not receiving light. We're not, um, you know, we're not, we're not generating any surface detail. We're just outputting this color. So this is basically like an emission, an emissive material. Um, and that works. So we want to turn off overlays, make sure nothing is on there. And we've already hit numpad zero. And then go up to view, viewport render image. And there we go. Go ahead and save that. Once you do, want to plug this into a new material. So drag this, drag this in, uh, you know, just take a, what is it? Texture, image texture, and then open that, that same image, change this to non-color, and then plug that into a normal map and plug that into the normal input of the principal BSDF or whatever material you want to use. And there you go. That's really all there is to it. Um, while we're in this view transform, this raw view transform, I do want to show the color difference though, because it's interesting. I can just drag this color straight to the material output and do the same with this one. You can see, hopefully through the YouTube uh, color compression, this is a lot more vibrant and this is definitely more muted. Um, so while this isn't horrible, it's definitely different. If you want, if you need fully accurate stuff, I mean, I don't know if why you would ever do this version anyway, I guess, unless you're just doing quick and dirty stuff, then you, you always want to use this uh, version using the material. Um, I don't really have anything else to say, but yeah, it's a pretty simple thing to do. Just a quick recap though. So our material just looks like this. Geometry node normal going into a vector math node, add value of one and then scale using a vector math node of 0.5. Just make sure everything's turned off here, turn on the view transform and view, view render image, <laughs> whatever. There you go, view render image here. Insert is what I have it bound to. Just do image save as. That's it. Um, you might want to change the color depth to 16 if you are using PNG, so then your gradients are a bit more uh, smooth. But yeah, so I hope this helps. I'll definitely be using this a lot in the future. Um, but anyway, if you liked it, I'd appreciate leaving a comment and telling me, you know, if this was helpful or not. And Consider subscribing if you like these videos and I'll see you in another video. Bye.